Hi viewers, this is Sri Ramlu. Today's topic is uh, modes of vibrations of a stretched string clamped at, a, at both ends. Okay, so clamped means fixed at both ends. So that is our today's topic. So the friends uh, before watching this video, please subscribe. Don't forget subscribing this video. So modes of vibrations of a stretched string at string clamped at both ends. So like this, if it is uh, two supports in between this like this, let it is on string and which is clamped or fixed at both ends. Let us consider a string of tension t and a linear density mu is fixed at both ends as shown in figure so it is shown in figure like this when string is stretched transverse wave will be propagated in it so when it is uh, properly stretched then transfer waves like this propagation will take place means they starts move moving the wave will get reflected at the ends and superimposed with the progressive wave right progressive wave to form stationary waves here the wave which are moving along the direction of the propagation are called progressive wave the waves which are coming opposite to the propagation are called a reflected wave okay so it is a progressive wave this is a reflected wave and the combination of progressive and reflected wave is called stationary waves like this so stationary waves combination means they superimpose or combine let y1 and y2 are the displacements of progressive and reflected wave waves they are represented by see y1 is the displacement of whose progressive y2 is the displacement of reflected wave like this y is equals to y so just now we have uh, uh, not in the previous video if you observe uh, there is a solution also okay i explained the solution in transverse waves so at the end please watch that video y1 is equals to a into e power of i omega t minus kx and y2 is equals to b into e power of i omega t plus kx here it is in positive direction it is in negative direction means it is in forward direction it is backward direction so that is it is a progressive wave it is a reflected wave and here a is the amplitude of the progressive wave b is the amplitude of the reflected wave according to principle of superposition the displacement of the resultant wave is algebraic sum of displacement of progressive and the reflected waves see here algebraic sum means their addition only see here y is equals to y1 plus y2 so that is a stationary waves stationary wave when they form sum of progressive and reflected wave that is superposition theorem so from the equation one so substitute in the place of y1 this is and y2 this is yes it is that is equation two now bcs are there bc means boundary conditions what are the boundary condition boundary means at the border at the end point suppose if it is a string which is fixed between two rigid support if if you pluck it what happens vibrations occurs uh, like this only okay but no vibrations occur at this point and at this point so let at this point a position is x is equal to 0 and at this point position is x is equal to l means from here to here length is how much l only it is taken but no vibrations occur at this point and at this point so that is why uh, the displacement at this point is 0 and displacement at this point is 0 along y direction so these uh, these two are called the initially boundary condition it is a finally boundary conditions so these two conditions we have to apply to get the answer okay since the string is a fixed at uh, both ends displacement at the end points is zero therefore y is equal to zero at x is equal to zero and y is equal to zero at x is equal to l only applying the first boundary condition to the equation two 
apply means wherever you have the y value there substitute 0 and x value 0 okay y here it is y 0 and here x 0 here also x 0 then what is these two things only remains and we can take common outside what e power this then in the bracket a plus b but actually e power of i you may get in number 0 so then what happens is this one only 0 then only it is equals to 0 so product of these two things 0 means either this 0 or this 0 isn't it but it never 0 then what automatically if this bracket is 0 from this we can write b is equals to minus a substitute the b this value in the equation 2 equation 2 is what see this is the equation 2 in the equation 2 replace b with minus a y is equals to this one now what we have to do we have to separate what exponential term so exponential term e power of omega t minus k can be separated like this and this is also separated in this manner and now take the common point this is the common one and it is a common one and also a so these two things are taken outside but inside is this one and this one only inside present right okay it is one time two times is written no need to actually use this term okay now what i am doing i am multiplying with the 2i 2i and dividing with the 2i so here minus is taken outside okay here this is exponential term is first to minus term but should it should not present first time so at the at the beginning it must present a second time means at, at this point it has to present why because e power of uh, i theta minus e power of minus i theta by 2i is equals to sine theta formula is there so here minus and here minus has to present okay so that is why but it is already minus here so if you take minus then it goes this side and it comes this side isn't it okay so here 2i 2i multiplied already minus is taken also because of that only these two are reversed okay now 2i 2i multiplied and divided then this is what simply sin kx i i coefficient what we have kx so that is what is sin kx so this is a formula okay now what we have to do applying the second boundary conditions what y is equals 0 at x equals to l y value is 0 so second we second part this formula is this one and here 0 and where where at x is equals to l so here x we have that is why l is substituted now same thing so this uh, thing cannot be zero then this is zero why because the product of these two things zero means either this zero or this zero so it cannot zero so that is automatically this zero and we know <coughs> if you substitute the k l value zero here then sign zero answer zero if you substitute here k l value as pi then sin pi is 0 sin 2 pi is also 0 and sin 3 pi is also 0 so simply we write sin n pi is also 0 when n value starts from 0 1 2 3 like this n pi in the place of n pi what you have kl you have so that is why kl is equals to n pi and we but we know that k is equals to omega by v so replace k with omega by v so written like this from this omega is equals to this is the answer okay so why because here whatever things you have v and l bring this side we brought this side so v is dividing this side multiply l is multiplying this side it divides omega is what omega is equals to 2 pi f or 2 pi nu is equals to this one okay pi pi gets cancelled then what is 2 f is equals to n by l into v and from this n and v value substitute v value and uh, f value bring the t f t value bring this side then f is equals to what n by 2l under root t by mu so this is our frequency formula next harmonics what is harmonic frequency of harmonics are given below if you substitute n value as 1 then f 1 1 1 1 by 2L under root T by mu. This is called fundamental frequency. 
if we substitute n is equals to then f2 is equals to by 2l under root u by mu it is called first harmony and if we substitute 3 value that is called second harmony so like this uh, these are the harmonics friends so don't forget watching this video till the end thank you